Hi, and welcome to the Hummies World Blending Mode class. And we are getting near the end of the class. So if you are just now finding this video, please come to the website at hummiesworld.com and look for the Blending Mode class and start um, at the beginning. So here is my image for this lesson. Welcome back. If you have been with us throughout all the lessons, thank you for following this far. Um, so here's my image, and we are going to be doing a retro vintage with blending modes. And um, you're going to see how easy it is to get a retro vintage kind of look. And it's actually using one of the blending modes that we did not like so much in the original lessons. So um, let's go ahead and deconstruct mine by making invisible all of my layers. And here's my original image. Um, I found this in my stash of some old photos that I took, uh, I think from 2010. And it's actually got some great um, depth of field in the background. I love purple cone flowers. So with each of the lessons, we are receiving a free download for you to play with. In this section of the class, of course, you're allowed to use any of the previous downloads, which there's been, what, about 35 of them already? And uh, we're going up to 40 lessons. Um, so you have a wide range to choose from to play with in your images. But here is the image that we are going to use for this lesson. Now, I know this is, might be one of the most boring um, textures that I've given you. I mean, it is uh, just simply blue. But if you zoom in, it does have a lot of uh, the little uh, grunge marks and some other, um, you know, texture to it. It isn't uh, just, um, it's not just uh, plain blue as it looks when I zoom out. So it does have a little bit of texture to it, but it is important to have a dark blue texture for this retro vintage to work. And um, when we think of retro vintage, uh, we think of kind of a, I don't know how to describe it. They're kind of um, hazy uh, with kind of a, a film overlay on them uh, because I guess the way they were printed back in the day um, maybe the 60s or even 70s or 50s or wherever it was, um, the way they were uh, printed, the, the, the images had a um, certain feel to them. Anyway, to get that feel, which um, sometimes we love right now, Mm, there I go, yawning again. See, I record a lot of these videos late at night after I work all day. So I apologize. <laughs> I don't know how many I've yawned in. Um, simply use a blue, that's the key, a dark blue uh, texture and the exclusion blending mode. And just like that, you've got a whammo you know, retro vintage type image. So we've gone from this to this in just a few clicks. Now um, duplicate that if you want. I mean, this is actually good enough as it is um, to make that kind of soft retro feel. Um, kind of like an image that's been in a box for a while. Uh, that might be kind of the, something that happens to the way it was printed and after it's been 
through the box for a while. It kind of, I, it's just so soft and beautiful. And so anyway, um, to enhance it even more, you can duplicate this um, art paper. Um, I just hit Control J and got another layer. And then I changed this one to a soft light and I lowered the opacity a little bit. And so that gave yet another kind of uh, vintage feel to it. This is certainly good enough. And this makes it um, yet a little bit darker. You can play with the blending modes. Your image may be different. Um, I think still images are great for this, but even I think pictures of uh, people might be pretty good with this. Um, I was thinking, looking for, see if I had a teacup. I was just thinking a teacup would look so nice with a vintage. Here I go yawning again with a vintage um, feel to it. Bloopers, I know. I leave my bloopers in. So um, to finish uh, this off, um, I, I added my text. And what I wanted to do um, was to highlight the word beauty because this... Um, flower exemplifies beauty to me and this is the message I want to get across I want to focus more on the word beauty so I added um, this layer which is actually I'll just show you how I did it I went back to the original photo layer and I got my uh, my rectangular marquee tool I have the feather at it says 24.2 so about 25 and I just simply made a selection around the word beauty. Make sure I'm on my original photo later. Hit Control J to put that selection on a new layer. And then I rose it above the um, blue vintage. And then I thought that was a little bit intense. And so I did lower the opacity of it a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one and go back to my original one. Um, and it's even the normal blending mode. And so you see that just makes, just that subtle little thing makes all the difference in the world. And it highlights the word beauty. Um, and then I said, well, um, you know me, I like to have edges, borders. And I thought this one might be just fine as it was. But I went and I got the... Um, the art paper 28 from lesson 29 and I tried it uh, and I went through all the blending modes and I went ahead and here put a mask on it uh, because it did not look very well um, with all the any texture I added to this image did not look right I just did not. I tried adding textures just to see what I could do to get something different with this, and it just took away the whole vintage feel when I added more textures. Oh, I'm yawning again. Oh my gosh. This is my third video tonight, so um, I'm yawning more in the last one. Bloopers. <laughs> so, um,. I'm only showing the outer edge of this and I went through the blending modes and I just did not like anything and took away from the beauty of the image and so what I ended up doing was let's go back to normal was simply um, duplicating this and Hitting Control I to invert it to get that black around the edge because I wanted to see if I could make that work. I'll go ahead and delete this. And so here's my layer, original layer with black, and I went down to the soft light, and you can see it added just a tad <coughs> of subtle texture around the outer edge. Um, with a rather nice coloring to it 
and so um, there's a before and after with that edge and so it just kind of gave it enough that um, it kept uh, the original um, impact so let's see what kind of retro vintage images you can come up with I think um, your original image is really going to make a big difference in um, your final results so choose your original image carefully and be sure to pick up the download and if you can use other textures with it with your particular image um, I look forward to seeing which ones you um, were able to use out of the previous downloads share your screenshot and your recipe so we know what um, images or what you did to your image to get from before to after. Have fun playing. It's always fun to play.